Fedora Outlier LLC logo animation. Logo is burnt orange, reddish brown. The shape is a square with a white outer glow creating dimension. The letters FO are in the center of the square. The letters have a hand-drawn artistic appearance. Backdrop is black with light flares that appear then disappear. There is a transparent mirror image of the logo underneath. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You guys know what it is. Well, maybe you don't, because guess what? I just made it up on the way upstairs. LeVette Bird is on the line, but she doesn't even know what she's in for because I wanted to record one of my videos at the um, preamble of starting the interview with her. And I want her to chime in, but you know, guys, we got that opening, right? So I'm gonna do the opening and then I'm gonna pause. It's like this pregnant pause so I can edit that part out and um, do what I do. But the topic of the video, LeVette and World, is business moves at the speed of relationship, right? And what do I mean by that? Levet, don't tell them, but do you know what I mean by that? Have you experienced that? In the way that you mentioned and phrased it, I have. All business right. move. Mm -hmm. At the speed of relationship. Yep, I like it. Gotcha. <laughs> and since she likes it, hopefully you guys will love it. We'll be right back. The words Fedora Outlier LLC in the center of the screen. In each corner, four different videos of Ashawn Jones, an African-American bald man. In each video, he is sitting in different rooms in his music production studio. One with yellow walls, one red, one orange, all with soundproofing materials. Headphones, computer screen, keyboards, microphones, various recording gear shown in each of the videos. All right, and so we are back. Let me break it down for you guys, and we'll get Levette to chime in. And you guys know this is only a three minute drive by segment of the concept. So, how I met Levette was like the typical elevator speech, literally coming off the elevator. It was like, hey, where you going? What you do? Who are you? Who you know? What to do? Blah, blah, blah. Right. And so we met and now we have this relationship and you have her on the line to get to listen to her interview, which you can click the link right there um, and watch the full interview. And so the thing about it that I've realized is that the more people you meet and the more books you read, the further along in life that you go. Right. The more people you meet. And the more books you read, the further in life you go. So five years from now, you will be in the same place doing the same thing, except for the people that you meet and the books that you read. And I got that concept of business moves at the speed of relationships from a VR director. And we was in a meeting together and, you know, he knew what I needed. He knew what I needed to hear. And that really sparked the interest for me into making sure that I built great relationships. So let me ask you this, LeVette, what are some of the things that you get from new people, building new relationships um, in personal life as well as in business? Well, for me, what I look for is their passion. I try to tap into their passion. Um, I feel that even if they don't know exactly what their passion is, there's something in their conversation that'll shine through to something that they're really interested in. And if you can see that, if you can celebrate that, if you can, you might not even vibe off of it, but if they can respect you and yours and you and theirs, then you can start a good relationship. Got you. You know, that's something that um, I really took with Fedora. Um, and growing the company is finding out what the individual's passion was because, uh -huh. you know, that is the driving force. That's like their talent. That's like the thing that they yep. would get up and do for free. And yep. if you can turn that exactly. <laughs> into a paycheck, you know, then yep. all the merry. Um, you guys know here we discuss finding or creating um, and that creating has to do with that passion. Uh, work mm -hmm. that is meaningful, purposeful, and profitable. And so, 
you know, that's the key. And I'm glad she spoke on it. I didn't talk to her about it beforehand, um, obviously, but that is the key. Finding out your passion, finding mm-hmm. like-minded people that can celebrate your passion, even if they're not mm-hmm. doing the same thing and exactly. growing from from that. Exactly. You're absolutely right. Cool. And that's where I think long, long-lasting relationships happen too. Because that they celebrate the passions that you have and vice versa. And that's something that can be shared continuously. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. All right. So you guys want to know more about uh, business moving at the speed of relationship. You know how to reach us on all socials. Uh, do your Googles. Fedora Outlier. Fedora like the hat. Outlier like the book. Um, dot com. LLC. And I'm losing my voice, so it's probably time for me to uh, cut this video off. So let's change the world. Let's change the world together. Light flares moving over a black backdrop. The word empowerment in orange all uppercase appears behind the flares. Underneath the word empowerment in white lettering also behind the flares is a mechanism by which individuals, groups, and communities gain mastery over their affairs. Light flares fade. A transparent mirror image of the words are also underneath.